Hello, direct time. Hello. All right, Zooper, where's the link? The link? Oh, they aren't doing the countdown this time. Oh, boy. Oh, they just started. There's the link. There's the stink. Uh -huh. All right, open that bad boy. Add a source. Fuck it, I'll record this one. Don't load it on Firefox, please. Emblems? The fire emblems? Jaden, is that you? It seems, yeah. Is it a new farm? Oh, game? is this Farm of Warriors 2? So probably. Oh, they said the Warriors. In the end, we were victorious in defeating and imprisoning the fell dragon well this seems pretty sick uh but it's probably heroes our world has been i mean but now, there's crossover characters sense. from different games so it's gotta be either heroes or fucking some other yeah, here it is game. well that took me way too long to plop up oh actually maybe i don't know, fucking know. oh yeah right we were good. talking about toothpaste emblem that's right yeah toothpaste it's emblem. blue eyes white dragon that's kind of easy is this open world fire emblem that uh, would actually be interesting. God, imagine. Up oh, there's. <clears throat> is this like Tales of Fire Sinfire Emblem Fire Engage? What the fuck is I'm this? Marked. Like Tokyo Mirage Sessions again? Like. Oh, I'd be. That'd be hilarious. What the fuck is this? Engage. Engage with what? Uh, it, it does look. <laughs> You're like... awake. Ooh. You're it, it looks like Stop regular it with Fire a thousand Emblem. Years plot, please. It looks like regular Stop. Fire Emblem gameplay. At it least. is. So it's so it's regular Fire Emblem Ooh. gameplay. But Ooh, I like you this. Have summons of I like that. Characters? Please have a rescue mechanic, please. I beg of you. Also, yeah, this reminds me more of old school than something like Three Houses. I like the. I like how it looks. Oh, nope, there's the open world element. Marth is just in the game, I, I guess. Well, it looks like it's S a spirit. Sigurd! Wait, what? Sigurd, what are you doing here? It is rather quiet, I know. But it will liven up. It looks like it's more of an, uh, like a spirit thing. Like, they're there in spirit. I guess. At least they speak. That's kind of nifty. I'm looming <laughs> What? No close captioning, please. <clears throat> please grant me your strength. Hey, Salika. What's up? Ah, big nuke. Nice. She asked me to gather all of the rings and bring peace back to Elvis. I mean, Marth is a big God, plot he looks point. like toothpaste. Fucking <laughs> clown. Well, at least the character talks. I'm happy that they at least talk. Fire okay. Emblem was not on my bingo card. Hello, everyone. Well, no, I, I thought that we would see I'm Toothpaste, toys, potentially. And I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Hey, I the What you just saw was the latest installment of the Fire Emblem series. Fire Emblem Engage. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. In addition cool. to the standard version, We'll also be releasing the Fire Emblem Engage <laughs> containing collectible items. Please look forward to more information about this game in the future. Someone should parody Nintendo Direct, but like... Is this... Take it takes trash two compactors. sequels? Or are they just it's throwing it on to Switch? Switch. It's probably it on Switch. That's yeah, that's what it looks like. But just to let you know, Jade, I'm pretty sure you're like five, six seconds ahead of us. So. Uh, yeah, hundred percent. Even tougher. Yeah. When they're turned into dolls. To get their bodies back, they'll brave an onslaught of challenges. Where working together is the only way forward. What are you all on? Twitch or YouTube? YouTube. YouTube. It's Twitch. Uh, further. Yeah, yeah, I'm on Twitch. Yeah. On YouTube. Venture through fantastical worlds filled with challenging experiences around every corner. In addition to single system play, the game can also be played on two systems via local wireless or online with a pal via the free friends pass. 
Oh, yeah, but then uh, if I'm on YouTube, I don't get the people go fire emblem resident sleeper. You do. You do. It's... I literally saw those exact yeah, messages. <laughs> Third today, buy it twice. It's between three. I I I thought we oh, were gonna frame. get this. Nice. Yeah, this the new movie? Fatal Frame game. Yeah. Nice. They announced this like in the uh, a few ones ago. Cool. After mysteriously vanishing as a child, Ruka Minizuki visits an abandoned hospital in search of her lost memories. I should play a Fatal Frame game. Use the camera obscura to repel evil spirits and uncover the memories that were sealed away. A dark curse looms near. What ancient rituals will be revealed? Fatal Frame, Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. I uh, the yep, the that, there's our DLC for Xenoblade. Careful, Ross, spoilers. <laughs> Could you go on YouTube so you're not ahead of us? Mechanical? Or just not talk about anything? God, that looks hard. She looks I'm literally hard. warning you about spoilers. This is Eno, a new hero. You know. She appears to be okay. uh, mechanical. Complete her Please don't shrug. Have her join your party. Expanding your options for classes and battle strategies. Zeno for Roblox for full. Yes, swap God, them. So she's a poppy. Test your metal in consecutive battles against tough enemies. Defeat all. Whatever. Who cares? Ah, that's why. I think we'll have a couple videos on it. And special outfits. More hero and gameplay additions will arrive in Wave 3. Wave 2 of the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Expansion Pass launches on Nintendo Switch October 13th. Get drawn into these Nintendo Switch games. Nautical nonsense begins when SpongeBob and Patrick cool. make a wish that unravels the very fabric of the universe. In this, this game should be fun. Adventure, you'll travel through portals to seven outlandish wish worlds like prehistoric kelp forest and wild west jellyfish fields. Explore using all sorts of wacky moves, don over 30 fantastic cosmic costumes, and meet your favorite bikini bottom residents from the TV series, voiced by their original well, actors. The ones that they can have. They better get Mr. Krabs correctly this time. They'll probably get everybody. Oh, I think. This is the North Star. This is not, it's what, not what you think it is. Fitness I boxing thought it was fist of the North Star, but it's not. Are you fucking kidding me? This is awesome. <laughs> this is very. Like, you might say this isn't on brand. No, this is very on brand for Fist of the North Star. Oh, no, I know. Fitness boxing, Fist of the North Star, launches on Nintendo Switch March 2023. Good shit. This ain't your uncle's dodgeball. Throw whatever you can at opponents in this hilariously hard-hitting party game. Embrace the absurdity of frantic minigames, each one featuring ridiculous rules in madcap arenas. Customize your character from head to toe with hundreds of accessories. Plus, challenge up to six friends and frenemies in local and online play. They won't even know what hit them. Oddballers launches on Nintendo mm. Switch early next year. Okay. A small box washes ashore. Cool. Uh, I thought this was already on the Switch. The unknown in the I am surprised it wasn't. Adventure game. Your only clue here is the man. The hell was it Traverse on? The island's interconnected Steam, probably only. Missing pages. I'm pretty sure it's on Xbox. Dangerous traps and even more dangerous monsters lurk around every corner. What long lost secrets will the island reveal? Tunic launches on the Nintendo Switch system September 27th. Pre-orders begin today on Nifty. Nintendo eShop. New Intel has arrived for these Front mm. Mission remakes. Full remakes of two Front Mission games are storming in. In Front Mission well, remake, did these. you'll pilot giant machines called Bonzers in tactical turn-based combat. As you progress, you'll obtain skills that can help you gain the upper hand against opponents. You I like how when people don't know about a game, they just sleep. 
Hey, come on, this is for someone, jeez. This is for someone, and also, um, I will say... It's just not for them. I will say, though, when the trailer says something to the effect of, as you progress through the game, you get skills that help you defeat the enemy. That's scratching the bottom of the barrel for things to talk about. <laughs> I got a few pogs, but most of it's resident sleepers. What is it, Room Factory 6? Oh no, it's gonna be another Parisman. There you go. After nearly 20 years, oh, wonderful life. Oh good, look at that frame rate. Yum yum. Wonderful life is a really good one though. That one scene had like real shit frame rate. Oh yeah, there it's the garbage frame rate. Ooh. as you nurture crops, care for your friendly animals, and help the land flourish. Oh my God, the grass! No, don't summon the grass. While you're out and about in the valley. What you can fuck in this game? You might even yeah. Your future partner and start a That's family. a critical element of every single Harvest Moon. Those around you will grow older as time goes on. Their appearances will change over the years. Your child will also choose their career based on how you- Whoa, alright, that's kinda cool. I like chat. I can finally die, Pog. Wonderful farm life in forgotten yeah, Wonderful Life is one of the more fun Harvest Moons because it actually, like, plays into the idea of... Like, it's basically the one where they played into the romance and the child actually mattering. <laughs> yeah. What do we got for spot three? Oh, she's hot. Hey, going down. Please get more first weapons. Spot best. Okay. Launch Splatfest for Splatoon 3 has been confirmed. Here we go. Here's the theme. What would you bring to a deserted island? Gear, grub, or fun? I wonder how many Splatfests you'll get out of this one. They usually do the monthly Andy and then. Shiver, why'd you pick the most boring Shiver. option? Let's bring gear. <laughs> yeah, gear's like kind of lame. It's purple, that's the only advantage, but it's like, yeah, it's not. More free updates are planned for Splatoon 3. Be on the lookout for my I, info. Honestly, at that point, I might, like, consider Grub, if only because I don't want to support Team Big Man. Not because Big Man's bad, but because I don't want to support Team Splatoon Reddit. I <laughs> hear uh, sounds like a big announcement. You'll all participate as well. What did you <gasps> decide? Please take a look at this. No, no, tell us. What'd you decide? Which team, huh? That's right, no. coward. Ooh. Squeenix. Oh boy, what kind of... Uh, it's another one. Yes! Studio. Yes! We're also excited about this. Okay. Fair enough. I mean, Talk about Traveler 2. Nice. Introducing a brand new game in the Octopath Traveler series. I'm excited just for the music alone. Eight new travelers embark uh, on a journey through the land of Celestia. Mm. That we could realize a world without conflict, without bloodshed. I'm going to become a star and bring smiles to people's faces, just like Mama. I'm hitting the road. I'll be back. Oh, the merchant. Yep. Patitio. She's going to get a lot. Doubt is what I do. Leave the hunting to me. You'll have all the tasty meat you want. I need to rediscover who I am. <coughs> Explore a wide Was there a day and night system in one? I don't remember. Kind of. Each traveler's path action differs between day and night. Yeah. Our Lord knows well the ways of the world. What will mm. happen when their paths intertwine? Nice. And what adventures await them in this new world? Think I found the source. 
The eight travelers each have their own story to tell. Where will their journeys lead them? And you. I really need to finish Octopath 1. February 24, 2023. Cool. What you Good shit. Uh, there'll probably be some callbacks, but not a lot. Please look forward to the journeys of eight new heroes. Let's see some more headlines. Bonk. A magical home is waiting for you. A magical home. Welcome to your new fairy tale life in Fay Farm. Cultivate your homestead. Cool. Farming Sims. Worst Stardew Valley. RPG. Discover magical spells to grow crops. Face off against mischievous foes. And explore the enchanted realms well, of Azoria. Fine. Along the way, you'll befriend a lively cast of characters who call this island their home. Tend and grow your fairy tale farmstead solo or together with up to four players. It's literally just Stardew Valley. By gathering resources and crafting items, you'll be able to customize your Jin, home. to be fair, Stardew Valley was Harvest Moon. Even more. Yeah, like we're not calling yeah. Stardew Valley original in any way. <laughs> Even if you're like, oh, well, that in combat, and Harvest Moon doesn't have that. Burn Factory does. <laughs> and Harvest Moon does have combat. Sometimes. It has some. Very little, but. It's a musical blast no, please. Just leave this in the past. Nope. No, theater rhythm is not allowed to die. Enjoy iconic songs like One Way Angel. <laughs> 185 <laughs> songs. What did they do to Behemoth? Poor Behemoth. Suteki Dane and more. There are 385 songs total. Wow. I wish you had all those to Smash. So you can play each stage while experiencing the series. No, that's why they're not in Smash, so they could be in this. In addition, two players locally can complete stages in pair style. While up to four players can can you imagine the alternate reality where they gave like 300 songs to smash and they're like please cut this down we don't need that many February 16th 2023 I love this song on Nintendo eShop of course it's paid DLC but I love that song series near series nice near music octopath traveler Live Maybe. Alive and more will be released. But not Dragon Quest. <laughs> no, of course not. Possibly. Can't get that music. Ed Moore. It's possible. That guy's dead. The guy's dead. They can do whatever they want now. He, he doesn't have the ability to stop them from using his music now. You think we're gonna That's get a, a 12 rhythm announcement game with today? 502 songs is genuinely pretty impressive. Do you think we're gonna get a 12 announcement today, Zooper? Uh, God, this still isn't out yet? Honestly, probably not. What's, uh, not yet, but... I actually don't know when, but... I feel like they'll, if when they do, they'll probably make it its own thing. This is the Mario RPG that we wish all the other Mario RPGs were. It's insane. It's... This is like the only Mario RPG these that days still feels actually like an RPG. trying. Yeah. And it's sad because it's rabbits. But like, it, it's good. It's good. So, I mean, you know. Sparks are here to lend a helping hand. Recruit up to 30 different sparks, each with their own special powers and skills. I mean, that's a cool looking boss. A decisive victory. You giant mental. Can Mario and the rabbits put a giant hood to the darkness? Mario plus rabbits yeah, sparks over a month. Launches on Nintendo Switch October 20th. Pre yeah. are available. I wish to play the first one. A gold edition. I mean, it wouldn't even be hard to do. Things almost are always on sale for like 10 bucks. Oh, I know. I already own it. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, that's fucking Rune Factory now. Are, it's, are we seriously? It's Rune Factory 3, baby! What is with the- what is with the farming sims today? <laughs> what is with all the farming sims? 
cultivate crops and care for monsters. Look, I like Rune Factory, but like, this is right, space money. apart. The fucking you can, also you can save one into a monster. Your abilities in battle and conversations with the locals will vary depending on your form. And help you build your, your farm. But it's a remake, you know? Oh my god! Oh boy, here it comes. Another one. You've gotta be kidding me. Plus, a new Rune Factory series will launch in the future. Stop! Stop, please! <laughs> Dude, it's the farming direct. Ooh, we're Nintendo getting the original Mario party. Get going, man, get going, man, get going, man, get going, man, get going, man. Wow, that's a lot of Mario Party. Oh, they're getting all the Mario Pokemon party. Stadium! Pokemon Stadium is a genuinely pretty big thing. And two! Yeah, that's pretty good, though. Stadium. What's nice is it'll have online multiplayer because it's Nintendo Switch Pokemon Online. Stadium yeah. Okay, yeah, Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2 are, like, actually legit. Alright, alright, they're adding, they're adding some good shit. Where the fuck is going on? Not an ounce. You dickheads. Why do they wait until 2023 for Pokemon? You fucking idiots, why? Ooh, this is... People don't wait for them to buy expansion pass. 007? Goemon, 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 Goemon. Yeah, I mean, it's fucking gold. Yep, golden eye. Fucking gold eye. Meh, whatever. With online play. Yeah. But how about instead just... The thing is, Goldeneye was a great shooter for its time, but it's not like... <laughs> it's fun. It's a fun game, but it's not that exciting. Why not mix things up with these Nintendo Switch games? Farming. Best life on the newly discovered okay, I, I kid you not, it's basically... There's no farming, but it's basically the same thing. Form over 100 types of daily tasks to build character and What's with all the idle gameplay? <laughs> In doing so, it's, it's the same game. Oh, this is later today. A grand adventure into the unknown away. Look, it's another R. Well, it's an RPG. Right. Oh, that's interesting. Factorio on Switch. A malfunction causes you to crash land on a strange planet. Build a new rocket from scratch in this management sim game. Okay. Scour the planet for materials. Then build machines to refine them into various resources. Eventually, you'll construct multiple production lines like these. But the planet's creatures will attack, so keep them at bay. Factorio launches on Nintendo Switch October 28th. A young girl named Ib visits an art museum with her parents. Wait, I've seen this game. Adventure. It's Ib. She wanders through a busy gallery yep. of the artist Guertena. Until That's cool. It's for sale? I thought it was a free game. Will she be able to safely return to her own world? Interesting Every that this actually her fate got in into it. something. Launching on Nintendo Switch cool. spring 2023. God, it's it's so old. Mario it's Strikers cute, though. Finally. It managed to get in, like, a Nintendo Direct. So this game, uh... Game exists. ...existed. And Diddy Kong, a why weren't they in the beginning? Why weren't they there at the beginning? Also, why is the game so devoid of content? <clears throat> cool. Like, whatever. Like fucking Genshin? Oh no, that's uh, I know that. That's Atelier. Atelier Riza. Atelier? It's Atelier, but yeah. She looks like Karone. All you need to know is it's uh, another uh, not farming game. Yes, I know, Jaden. There's like a thousand of them. I think I own one. <laughs> Freely explore this vast world and forge your own path in this charming RPG. <laughs> it looks fun. I don't know how they keep shitting these out. Of life will join your party. 
I mean, I know that it'll be a decent game because the Atelier series is good. Yes. This is probably like the best looking Atelier game I've seen. It actually pretty much just looks the same as uh, the other two Atelier Rises, but one and two. For Ryza series, look pretty much the same as that. The subtitles are terrible. Alright, what maps? Not that I'm gonna buy it, I'm just... whatever. No. Uh, I like the first map. Okay. Yo, I like this map. <gasps> Peach Garden! Yeah! Peach from Mario Kart That's, cute. DS. That's it! <laughs> That's it? That's all we gotta talk about? Okay. Just two tracks? Oh. Wait, you gotta be kidding me, right? Cool Wave 3. Um. Cool hey, hey buddy, three. isn't it supposed to be like a whole new. Cool Why is it only two tracks? Cool, cool wave three. So maybe they're only showing you two tracks. Okay. It means they haven't finished the other two. The DLC can also be purchased on its own. What the fuck are they doing? How was that? Uh. We have some news to share. I don't own the game, but. Oh. This is one of the. This is something that should have launched with the Switch and came with it. Like this is. Yeah. Not... <laughs> and it probably could have, but they were like. But at least it's a free update. <clears throat> of course, you can play these levels. Yeah. Additionally, up to eight players. I mean, this isn't new information. We knew they were gonna do oh, golf. golf. Those but... with the most strokes will be out. We previously announced that the update would release this fall. However, we'd like a bit more time for development. So because making is golf is hard. A special <laughs> guest. Wait just a little longer. There he is. We want Poof insured to have another like month on this planet before he screams his lungs out. Oh, is it finally time? It's been a while. I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. Are you finally time to tell us about the uh, best thing in the universe? Yes. <clears throat> First, as you may have heard, the Super Mario Brothers animated movie we're developing with Chris <laughs> and Oh my god, I hope he doesn't even mention Breath of the Wild and this is all he talks about. Which is entering its oh my god. Universal Studios Japan will also open in nope. Hollywood, California. But Ross will be excited. Recently, we've oh cool, we're getting a Nintendo World. Both. Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about Pikmin. <gasps> <laughs> Please? Please? <laughs> Such a debate! <laughs> you <Such> motherfucker! <laughs> Why? Let's talk about Pikmin real let's, quick. Let's talk a little bit more about Pikmin, please. You know, there's, there's so much we can talk about. No, <laughs> Don't no, do this to me, no. Miyamoto, please! No, no, no Pikmin Blue, please! It's a lovely no, app! See. You're great, Pik please! Pikmin Go, that's what we get. <laughs> Come on, I saw someone who was named Pikmin 9. All you have to do is put on the switch, please! You can't, it's Pikmin Go! This was a nice conversation. I, I love it, this is so cute, and it's it's very nice. Now please, How many steps do we Just announce him! That's all I want! Just like the smallest little crumb! This is your crumb. This is not a crumb. This is a bitch slap. <laughs> Let's talk about Pikmin real quick. <laughs> it's literally Pikmin Go. Oh my fucking god. No, this existed. You, you knew about this, right? I didn't know that this was an app. Oh no, this has been an app for about a year. <laughs> Why are we talking about it? Then? I don't know! Keep a record of locations you've visited. If this isn't news, why is it here? I don't know. Universal Studios Japan. I occasionally go to Tokyo as well. You'll say to yourself, "Okay, this time." Miyamoto, please. I have such a weak heart. A lot of fun. Oh, hold on. Main announcement. Play experience you can enjoy just by taking it with you. Please. You'll try it out. Miyamoto. Maybe. Miyamoto, please. 
Please? Please, Miyamoto, yep. please? It looks like it. That's oh awesome. my That's god! Awesome. Fucking finally, dude! I, I would have been so fucking happy if they didn't, though. Just so that would have been like that. Miyamoto, you can't do that to me. You can't just start with a bunch of bullshit no one cares about. There, you can be happy now. Pikmin. Put that four there. Come on. Come on, thanks. Pikmin. Jesus Christ, dude. Where the hell has this been for fucking seven years? Uh, I'm, it's gonna be good, because it's 2023. It's ten years. Right. And then it's not gonna come out in 2023. <laughs> Are you gonna show anything? No. No, of course not. Yeah, it's all the games. Yo, yo that's a cool t-shirt. Nintendo Switch has made controlling the game simpler, meaning you can further concentrate on the core essence of Pikmin. Whatever, at least it said Pikmin 4. I think this is a Pikmin 4 10 years ago. <laughs> I, I I would have loved if his contribution to the direct was here's the mobile app and also look, I made a cool shirt. That would have been great. Yeah, or recently have not talked about Breath of the Wild 2. By the way. Oh, uh, just whatever, back to the next level. <laughs> the game's back coming out in like four months. Back to just dance every single direct always. <clears throat> you know it. Yeah, but you can play together. A fresh and cool new look. Oh, it's cringe it's time. A fresh and cool. it's, it looks exactly the same. Are you surprised? Well, no, they're just claiming it has a fresh and cool new look, but it doesn't. It's exactly the same. <laughs> look, they sell. And really well, in fact. Yeah? I'm glad people who like this game have it. Thanks, Ubisoft. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we got, we got to. You got to be, you've gotta be, you've gotta be kidding me! Dude. You've got to be kidding me! <laughs> what is this direct? Why is everything either plants or dancing? Even Pikmin Four fits in. What is with all the farming? At least this one looks interesting. Facing numerous dangers, you'll begin to uncover the truth of this ill-fated world. Why is that always the line? You'll begin to uncover the truth of this ill-fated world. How about just like you will find nothing new? The world's already great, asshole. Fuck you. You don't do anything. I, I that one looked <clears throat> interesting. It's, it's also on my birthday. Thanks, Square. Really hooking me up this birthday. Are you gonna finally fucking release the game? God, the music would be so they'll, good. They'll give us a release day, but in the present day, in the first Bayonetta game, she clashed with angels to recover her lost memories, and in the second, confronted demons to save her best friend. Now she's fighting demons to save her best friend's memory. Sudden invasion of man made bioweapons called homunculi. Neat. New do dead you. Spin! For others, to fighting for the world. Those who have overcome God, the music is so good in this game. It is. Alongside her, include the journalist Luca and another Umbra witch, Jean. New ally Viola also joins in on the action. Ah, oh, there's the release date. Demon summoning. <coughs> They're gonna push it back again, 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 again. <laughs> no, but it's just a. All right, fucking, you did it, guys. Good job. You got one of your games out. One of them. I still haven't played Bayonetta oh, 1 yes. and 2. The other, the, the Danganronpa game. It's not a Danganronpa game. 
it's yeah, it's the it's the same thing, but you know, yeah, different. <laughs> Good. I'm actually kind of happy that it's not exactly Dongan. Of perpetual rain. Many cases remain unsolved in this corporate-controlled metropolis. I don't know. I, I made, could get behind it's this. Made by them, though, Ross. I could get behind it if the story is a little bit interesting. Who come from all around the world. I mean, it looks. It looks similar, but you Narakami, is that you? Baby you? Baby you Narakami? What are you doing here? Yuma, an amnesiac detective. Yuma, you look like you Narakami. Shinigami, the spirit haunting him after their pact. Shinigami? Dive into these unsolved cases as a trainee at the detective agency. Thoroughly inspect each crime scene together. I like the art style, actually. When you're ready. Even though, I mean, I'm gonna buy it and I'm gonna play it. Sure, it looks fun. Oh, so it's a palace. Kind of. So it's Persona Danganronpa. Persona Rumble. I like it. It's no it's use. Take it's so far away. This is actually kind of cool. I'm not seeing anything that's like super pervy and annoying. Well, they wouldn't show that there. Yeah, I'm not gonna show that here. Yeah, well. Oh, look, it's mommy. <laughs> it's there. She has mommies here. I mean, whatever. It's a good game. Just uh. Series is coming to Nintendo Switch as a cloud version. Cloud version, yeah. and its four fearsome lords to rescue his abducted daughter. It looks like a very fun game, to be fair. Launches on Nintendo Switch. I still need to play I mean, Resident Evil Biohazard. It's for me. Yeah, you kind of have to play Biohazard to understand Village to an extent. It's the same guy, and it is a direct sequel. Oh, is it called Village because V I I is but seven? They're, well, look, That's clever. They're also giving Biohazard. Actually, it's it's Resident Evil Eight, right? Yes. Eight. So that's yeah. why. Yeah. Evil Village. That's stupid, but kind of clever. Cool. Lineup of Nintendo Switch games. Alright, here comes the lineup of all the shit. Lineup of all our shit, and then whatever their big, big boy is. I don't know what this oh, is. Oh, yeah. It's whenever you die, you get older, but stronger. I've seen this. It, it's nice. You'll learn new techniques to complete your mission. Can you exact revenge before your time runs out? <laughs> so you're just an old man. That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, if you suck at the game, you're an old man. If you're good, you're a young boy. <laughs> oh, this is the uh, this is the mobile thing they were doing. Me, Gungaga. No, this is this is just Crisis Core on Switch. Mm. Me, Gungaga. Me, Gungaga, Gungaga, Gungaga. I like it when they do space shooters. Hell yeah. Beat multiple enemies of the same color for a chain bonus, or take down differently colored ones for a secret bonus. Rack up these bonuses. Seems like the secret Ooh. bonus is a lot better than the regular bonus. Endless Dungeon. Launches on Nintendo Switch later today. After an Odyssey. Endless Dungeon. No. Nah. This song is copyright. But it's not as easy as it sounds. Maybe, You'll maybe not. Fend off continuous waves of monsters as you make your way through procedurally <coughs> generated levels, complete various quests to unlock new heroes, weapons, station areas, and more. It's on Up Steam. Why would I buy it on Switch? To escape their grim fate. I can see why. Well, you this is this is Ross's happy announcement. <sighs> on Nintendo Switch next year. Do we now? Hmm. 
Intriguing. Oh, journey of world that's cool. Begins anew. They finally put in a Tales game on the Switch. Of of Which means that might be the big announcement. Is a new Tales game on Switch. By Even though we just got a rise like two years this ago. This is just free uh, people putting Switch on Switch. This is just free uh, booms. Soon embarks on a journey with Colette. Yeah, Zelos. His childhood friend in this beloved action RPG. They'll meet allies along the way, like the wandering aristocrat Zelos, and a lumberjack who lost her emotions after an experiment. Prisea. <laughs> that's a that's a summarization of a character. Yeah. Yeah. The fate of two interconnected <coughs> worlds hangs in the balance. No big announcement. Begins its journey on Nintendo Switch early next year. Wait, uh, it's just now... Tales of Symphonia One. It's not two. It's not Dawn of the New World. We don't even bother adding it. Ooh, we're getting another compilation. Yay! Ooh. Life is strange. Please stop re-releasing it. Oh, that's another farming game, by the way. Yeah, yeah, romancing saga farm, dickhead. <laughs> At least they didn't have to talk about this one. <laughs> Lego Bricktails? Is this like... Captain Toad Lego? Something like that. Oh yeah. Disney cart. Fall Guys. Oh. Didn't Caddy call this like boring as fuck? Uh, whatever. It's... Inoffensive. Hey, more Fall Guys. I can't remember if you were playing that on Epic Game Store or Switch. Epic. Oh. Neat. Gotta be. Hey, look, Super, we can finally play this game. Hey. <laughs> I mean, you know, neat. What the hell happened to DDD? <laughs> he looks real fat. Like, the rest of them look pretty much the same, but DDD's just like... This is extra copy puffy. Odd. You know. The new mecha copy ability makes its debut. Blast foes from a distance, or punch them up close. It's cool. packed with other powerful moves as well. The game supports local play for up to four players on the same system. This is like, ah, Kirby, you're fucked. Oh no! Everyone can play as Kirby while using their favorite copy abilities. There's also a collection of sub games to play. <clears throat> yes, there are. Includes the new sub -game Magalore's Tome Trackers. It's better with the Wii Remote. Returning ones like Samurai Kirby. All sub -games Slow. Can be played with up to four players. Oh, the frying pan one! You couldn't play this on a... An dolphin? No. Actually, you can't. I'm sure you can figure it out, but we didn't. Well, I think we have time for one more announcement. Sixty dollars for it. As part of Kirby's 30th anniversary, a remake of Kirby's Return to Dreamland will be released. Nope, it was just a, cool. oh. Nope. Th yep, there it is. Our next trailer will be our last right. announcement. Shut up for it, Jaden. I don't want to know what it is. This next trailer will be our last announcement. Please take a look. Okay, fucking finally, dude. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly <coughs> what you thought it was. Yeah, I mean, obviously. Oh, yeah, we are so here. close to the release date. Like, Jesus. <clears throat> yeah, we're close and we knew nothing about it. I hope we the frame rate is as good as it was in uh, Zelda Warriors 2. Oh boy, Zelda Warriors 2 frame rate for this game would make it unplayable. Uh. Boy. God, this is, uh... I, I hope this is all we get, right? It's just oh, okay. slabs. Why isn't this where the resident sleepers were? There we go. <laughs> Christ. Skyward Breath of the Wild. <laughs> yep. What if they just debated you and it was Skyward Sword 2? I'd be fine with that, honestly. I like Skyward Sword. That's it? 
Yep. Cool. Thanks for that. <laughs> cool. We got to see a couple more images of the sky. The world <laughs> looks car. big, but uh, and tears the of the kingdom. Tears of the community is more like it. Next year. It's not Breath of the Wild 2 anymore. What the f- Oh my god, that's so much later than we thought it would be. Oh my god. This game is forever. Don't worry, Ross. It's gonna, it's gonna get pushed back, too. Uh-huh. You <laughs> squeak fucking eight months, buddy. Out of the way, like, two-thirds of a year. Good god. How long must we suffer? For always and forever. Okay. Yeah, you're looking at... Some cool things, but that direct really pissed me off. <laughs> I'm happy about Pikmin 4. Don't get me wrong. But, like, so many farming simulators. This was the farming direct. <laughs> What's up with that? You have no idea how much I wish that Sakurai had just introduced the shitty Pikmin bubble and then said, Hey guys, I, I made a cool shirt. shirt. Yes, we know. We know, Mr. Uh, Mr. Miyamoto. You made the game a fucking year ago. You might just... It would have been so satisfying if he said, I made a cool shirt, and that was the announcement. <laughs> They'd let him do it, too. Why are you talking about this, Mr. Uh, Mr. Miyamoto? Oh, I heard there was just a lot of farming, so, you know, some plants, pick them, you know. Oh, hey, we're watching the Sparks of Hope trailer, the Wiggler boss <laughs> gameplay trailer. We're, we're watching the Splatoon game overview for me. <laughs> oh, cool. Um, not Splatoon 2 or Splatoon 3. Splatoon 1. <laughs> I love her accent. Padai. I know there will be a Bayonetta trailer. Oh my god, her accent's so cute! If Croft wants to watch that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fucking like... Go now! Go now. There was some neat stuff in there, but it was mostly just meh. Yeah, I'm excited <laughs> for Persona Danganronpa. That looks fun. Uh, I don't know if it's only releasing on the Switch, though. I'd rather it'll probably play it on... be Switch exclusive for a bit, and then it'll go to Steam. I gotta be honest. Everything. I'd rather play that on Steam, but, uh... Yeah. It's... Probably going to be controller-oriented, so... That's the direct, so I'm going to send a link to Emily. And yeah.